Hi, this is PDF Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com and this is tutorial 231. Now in our last tutorial we left off, we had actually had our shield starting to spawn in the chest. Uh, so let's continue on from there. So if we open up our chest. Uh, we got a, two different types of shields that are spawning. I'll just open up one more chest here. There we go. So if we open up our inventory and our character panel, uh, we notice that you know our icons are showing up properly for our chest. It appears our tooltip is actually showing up behind our windows, and we'll have to adjust that later to have it show up above the windows. Uh, but if we look, uh, we're going to have to adjust the tooltips to show a little bit more info for the shields, but I'm pretty sure we still have a fair amount of info display even just for the weapons. Uh, but let's go ahead and try to equip one. And when we double click on it, it shows up where our weapon's supposed to be. And we get this error down here that says it failed to instantiate. And if we just double click that error and we come over here, it's in our PC script. And if we take a look, uh, it's during the equip weapon. And basically, it's trying to equip it as a weapon and it's trying to actually load the mesh up uh, using the melee mesh or melee weapon mesh path. And that's the reason why it's, it can't find that prefab. Uh, so let's start setting it up uh, and start fixing a few of these things. So I'm going to start off in the item generator. And well, I'm going to go ahead and uncomment the create weapon. And I'm going to comment the create shield or create armor part out. And I'm going to come into my, my GUI CS. This is what we're using to actually spawn um, the item from the inventory to being equipped. And if we come down to the inventory window function, and we come down to right after our double click where we're checking here, uh, we check to see if the PC instance.equip weapon or equipped weapon is equal to null. And if it is, then we're going to equip this weapon, the, at least the one that we double clicked on in the inventory, and then we remove from the inventory. Then we check to make sure, you know, if it wasn't equal to null, then we're going to store what's already. Uh, currently being equipped, uh, equip the weapon we clicked on and take that one that we stored and replace it in the inventory um, with the temporary one that we stored off. And that works out great in that, but this is only for weapons and we want to be able to start uh, taking into account different types of uh, well, equipment. So to start off with, I'm going to uh, just check the type of the item. And in this case, uh, we're looking for a weapon here. And if it's a weapon, then we'll run this function. And if it's not, then we'll start looking at other possible scenarios. Uh, so let's go ahead and just try to see if we can detect if it's a weapon. So we're going to introduce a new thing that we probably haven't used yet, which is type of. And type of is great for checking uh, the type of a variable. Let me see if I can just get a pop-up for it. And one's not going to show up. But anyway, with the way it works is you go type of, and then the type of the variable that you're actually looking for, or the class that you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to be looking for a weapon. And then I'm going to check for, to see if uh, what we currently have, or what we clicked on, I guess I sh we should say, is a weapon. So I'm going to post this in here. And if it is, then I want to perform this action. And I'll just paste that in there. I should have tabbed it in while I was down there. So let's go ahead and test to see if this functionality works and make sure it doesn't break anything. So I'll just come in and hit clear. And I have an error up here. And the reason why I'm getting the error is because I'm not actually getting the type. So we'll go back in. There we go. And we'll just hit play and we'll check this out. So now I'm going to run over here, open up a chest. I'm going to grab a couple uh, items out of here. And I'll open up my character panel and my inventory panel. And I'll equip one. So there we go. I'll actually hold my torch. It's not lit yet. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a sword. Let's grab the sword. Uh, let's grab a scimitar. Yeah, so that's working. Uh, let's go ahead and generate some shields again. And we'll see if it's actually equipping the shields or not. So we'll come back into item generator. I'm going to uncomment the create armor. And actually, I'm just going to leave it like that. So it's going to create a bunch of items for me. 
Uh, actually, I can't because I'm actually using item up here, which is fine. I'm not going to bother uh, creating different variables and then returning them all, but uh, let's just comment out the weapon. And we'll come back in. I'm just going to hit clear. And we'll start it back up. Let's go grab some armor or shields in this case. And of course, to open up the character panel, open up the inventory panel. And now when we click on it, it doesn't equip uh, because it's not a shield. Now let's go ahead and actually add a debug statement in here uh, for shields. And let's come down here and just say, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to use an else if. And we can actually just cut and paste this. And we'll just change the type that it's checking for. So instead of weapon, uh, we can say armor. I believe the shield does inherit from armor. Uh, it's been a few days, but I'm pretty sure it inherits from armor. But anyway, now we can check to see if it's of, of uh, type armor and do something different if it's armor. Uh, for now, I'm just going to throw a debug statement. And just say, this item is of type armor. All right, so now when we try to equip a shield, we should get that little debug, debug message. So we'll go ahead and try to equip. This is of type armor. So there we go. We've now found an easy way to uh, tell the difference, but I kind of want to go over why I used an else if. Uh, I see a lot of people when they're sending me code and they're setting up blocks like this, uh, they'll use just a, a bunch of if statements. So, you know, if uh, this weapon type is, well, if this uh, type of, you know, weapon is this, and if this type of armor is this, then, uh, you know, they'll have a bunch of other ones down here. And the problem with that is, when you're coming through here, it's going to check each and every single one of them. Uh, so let's say I had uh, other what types down here. Maybe I'm checking for type of uh, jewelry, type of consumable, uh, type of, I don't know, um, craftable item, uh, all these different types. And let's say the one I want is actually at the bottom. Uh, it's going to come down and go, okay, you know, is it a are, or is it a weapon? Nope. You know, is it armor? Nope. Is it you no know, consumable? Nope. And it goes through all of them till it gets to the bottom. And you know, when it gets to the bottom, it goes, oh, you know, we are type uh, craftable item. Let's you know do whatever we're supposed to do in that block of code, and that works fine. Uh, but the problem is, what if it's a weapon? And it's the first one you hit. So it's it's actually coming in and saying, you know, are we a weapon? And you know, yeah. So it's going to execute all the code in here. And then it comes down to the next one. It's like, are you an armor? And well, no, we already know it was a weapon. And we've already done stuff for it. Uh, so a lot of the times, uh, if you use an else if statement, uh, what you're really going to do is go, okay, you know, is this a weapon? And if it isn't a weapon, in the case of uh, our consumable or our crafted item, it's going to come down and, you know, if it isn't a weapon, automatically go through like it did before, keep following through. Uh, but the benefit is if, if if it finds it before it gets to the end, so in this case, you know, if it is a weapon, it doesn't check all the rest because of the else clause. So keep that in mind when you're checking uh, and you have multiple ifs, if statements. Uh, if you can use the else if, uh, you definitely want to do it because you really do save uh, quite a bit of time not having to check every condition if you only need to check for one. Uh, another alternative to the one I usually use is uh, put a switch block. Uh, but I did want to show how to use an else if, just for the people that might not have seen it before. And of course, the uh, tailing end, you know, you'd have a bunch of else ifs here. And then the last one, you could have an else. And this is kind of like your catch all clause, where if it doesn't fit into anything else, it, go it goes into the else block. But let's just get rid of that. So we now have a, a way to fix the problem of having it uh, be clickable in the inventory and going to the wrong spot. In our next video, we're actually going to implement the, the um, loading up of the actual shield and putting it in the right spot. And for those who want to work ahead, uh, take a look at the equip weapon. Uh, we'll be working off of that. 
anyway, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to thumb up the video and favorite if you liked it. And if you haven't already subscribed yet, go ahead and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.